Good morning and welcome to Carnivore 501. I am your host, Shiloh. Okay, so today I am going to talk about some women's issues. So if you're squeamish or uncomfortable with that, go ahead and watch my next episode whenever that comes out. Um, but if you're a woman or if you have a woman in your life that you might want to understand some of the things that we go through, um, feel free to listen. So, um, this is an update. I started my carnivore on July 1st and then by the end of the month I had lost 10 pounds um, and then the very next day I had female problems and I gained five pounds literally overnight um, but I didn't actually have my monthly because I'm going through menopause so sometimes I'll go three or four months without one but I still have a cycle so I had all the symptoms. I had the extreme fatigue and it took me down hard more than it has in a long time. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's inflammation, but I'm not sure what exactly I'm eating in my diet. I did cut the cream and dairy out. I cut dairy out earlier in July and then I cut the cream out as of the beginning of this month. So, um, but, um, like I it took me down so hard like literally I was extremely fatigued and I could not get up out of bed for like a couple of days it was that bad um I had the bloating and the cramps I had like body cramps all over but I also had cramps like I was going to so I thought oh maybe this month I will but I didn't um but I had all the symptoms and then now I'm starting to feel good the bloating has gone down where I'm back down. I lost those five pounds. So the scale says the same. However, I'm still bloated because at the beginning of July, I was wearing 18s tight and the end of July, I was wearing 18s comfortable. And even though I'm still down 10 pounds, those size 18s are tight right now. So sometimes the scale is not accurate. So I could be like, oh, yay, I'm back down, but I'm bloated. So um, right now, because I had went three weeks without work and then I started a new job that was extremely stressful and they wanted you to work like 60 hours a week, um, 10 hour days. And it was something that I was not used to doing. So that stressed my body out. So I'm not sure if it was diet or stress between physical and um, financial. So anyways, I ended up switching to a job that actually pays more, but is more in what I'm used to doing. It's uh, running machines at a factory versus doing extremely physical stuff, going up and down on scaffolds and bending and twisting. And, you know, that was extremely physical, uh, where this other one will be more I'm running machines, CNC machines, and that's something that I'm used to doing, so it won't be as stressful. So that is a good thing. Um, and I'm going to stay there because that's that's more in my alley. And I really like the human resources guy at the job that I just had. And I only worked there for two weeks. And I feel so bad because he is such a nice person. But it was not the right job for me. Um, so now that I got that stress out of the way, hopefully that will help. Um, I might start eliminating some things because I've been eating all types of meat. I've been eating pork, chicken, um, beef, fish, eggs. Um, I have been eating butter. I tried ghee and I do not like it. So if I have to cut out butter, I'm just going to cut it all out. Um, I might try eliminating eggs and see how that goes. And I might try eliminating pork. Chicken doesn't really seem to bother me, but... Like I said, I can eliminate things and see how my body acts. Or I'm thinking possibly maybe just doing lion for a couple months and then slowly adding things in and seeing how my body reacts that way. But I can honestly say this is one of the worst cycles I've ever had. So there's definitely some inflammation going on. And I probably am retaining about at least a good five pounds of water right now. Because even though my scale says one thing, I know how my body feels and I know how my clothes fit. So how my clothes fit are more of an accurate gauge on where I'm at health-wise. Um, and people 
have said, you know, you should increase your fat, um, make sure you're getting your electrolytes. I am getting my electrolytes and I increased my fat to the point that I started having bathroom problems. So I backed down a little bit. So I know I'm getting the right amount of fat. So that's not really an issue. But I think that it could be one, it could be stress and two, it could be some of the things that I might be eating that I don't know I have intolerances to. And also, I have obviously not created any new workout videos recently. Um, and that's because I needed to let my body rest because I was gone physically. Um, but now I'm going to be working 40. If I work overtime, it'll be voluntary, maybe four to eight hours a week. So I'm not going to be mandated to work 10 hours a day, six days a week or anything. I'll be working five days a week. And then if I stay over a couple of hours voluntarily here and there, that's doable. Um, and I'm not going to be climbing up and down on scaffolds and then trying to hop on because I'm five foot tall, hop on a giant stepping thing on top of a scaffold, trying to reach real tall and then, you know, having to get down and sit on like a little chair with wheels to get underneath a, you know, I'm not having to do all that. That, that was way too physical if I was younger or if I was in better shape, but I'm just getting into shape. So I'm not um, at that point. I'm not physically fit enough to do something like that yet. So it was very stressful on my body. And at this point in time, I think tomorrow, because today I have, I have other errands and things I have to do before work. But tomorrow, um, I am going to do a chair workout. Um, I'm going to try to do a little bit more chair workouts for the next couple of weeks. And then I'll start doing more of the weights also, like in a couple of weeks, because I kind of want to give my body that rest and and ease into it. Once I know that my inflammation is down, then I'll start doing more of the uh, weight workouts. Um, but that's just kind of where I'm at right now. And if anybody has any good advice for me, or if they're going through something similar, or if your wife or girlfriend is going through something similar, um, leave, leave comment and uh, let me know 